Welcome to this look at the updated Thornton Farm 19 with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Welcome everybody. I thought I'd do this quick video just to show you some of the updated features and little fixes that Steve's Mods has done to Thornton Farm because I think this map's had quite a lot of interest. I know a lot of people have been a bit excited about it coming out and have been eager to play it. And obviously some of it in the original version was unplayable i.e. the chickens and the sheep so the megabyte download has changed slightly it's gone down but i'm assuming that that has gone down because the required mod from the original version which was the twin silage uh, shed by lancy boy is no longer on there so it's now 264.74 megabytes to download when it was originally 267.50 as you can see there it says new save game required and it's change log 1.1.0.0 fixed chickens fixed sheep fix silage pit at main cow yard fix fuel trigger at the petrol station rearrange the silage pit at main cow yard rearrange part of BGA area removed silage shed so I think that's the required mod from the original version and this will require new save game so let's go and have a look at these features right so the first thing I want to point out is this isn't another map tour it's just going to be showing you the features that have been added and fixed etc if you want to see the map tour and you haven't seen one yet i'll put a link down in the description below but just obviously remember that what i'm showing you in this video wasn't on the original map tour so quickly go over the slot counts because because they've slightly changed not hugely um, in new farmer mode it was originally 551 slots and then if you sold everything off you got that down to 345 now it is 500 and it's easier to show you 56 slots you start off with all the same equipment as you did before and if you sell all that off you can get that down to 350 slots in farm manager and start from scratch it was 546 slots and then if you sold everything it went down to 342 but it is now 554 slots and you can get that down to 350 by selling everything the only difference in those two modes was in farm manager and start from scratch you don't get these seed tanks and they're not on the map so if we do look at the map now the seed tanks are here there's one at the main farm like so and there was one over at the BGA area like that so as you can see up here like it said the fuel point this wasn't here before but it is now on the map and it's showing a gas station when you pull into the petrol station fuel station it will come up with the start filling trigger which is pretty good apart from that everything else is the same as before so what we'll do is we will run straight away let's jump over the wall actually because it's just through here isn't it to the chicken area and as you can see we have now got some markers on the ground which we didn't have before so if we come into here this is your dialogue box now and this will hold 500 chickens your feed trough that was there pretty obvious but we've got a trigger there now and then your eggs will appear just here I don't remember these doors being open they might have been but it might just be me but if we just go like that buy a couple confirm there they are 
they run all round there and they go through the gate and run outside as well so that is your chickens if we run round into our main farm one other thing to point out is on farm manager and start from scratch mode on the map the icon here for the cow pasture wasn't there on the map but it is now so that's been fixed all of this was in place and you could use the um, pen but it wasn't showing on the map but that is fixed so if we run round it says the silage pit has been sort of reshuffled and fixed those trees definitely weren't there before I don't know if they've been spaced out a little bit more but that has been fixed if we put the help menu on and run in we've got our field chaff level and compacting percentage like so which we did have on the original but it's just been rebuffed I think so what I'm going to do is run over and we're going to grab our pickup I think we'll head out to the sheep because I'll show you that that's been fixed and then I will probably cut up to the fuel station just to show you that working and then we'll show you some other little bits and bobs that I have noticed as well myself which wasn't quite quite right in the original but has been fixed and now seems to be working so let's just head on up to the sheep quick like I said it's not going to be a map tour it's just going to be showing you these areas So, if you did watch my map tour or someone else's map tour, you probably would have noticed there was some markers just there. They have now gone. And over here, if we put the help menu back on, this is your dialog box, as you can see. Click on, just buy a couple again. This will hold 250 sheep obviously they're going to appear out there your feed trough that was there anyway that's still there and then right down that far end by that gate you maybe just can see it is your water trough and then if we jump over this wall just here is going to be your wall pallet spawn point now I haven't tested any of this but that's pretty obvious to me look that is what's going to happen so what I'm going to do is I'll whiz up to the fuel station and I'll see you up there. Right, so we're just pulling into the fuel station now, which obviously does appear on the map. And if we drive up, there you go, in your help menu, start filling. And that did take some money away from us, but it didn't show up on the screen. What I'm going to do now is not drive around. We're going to have a quick jump down to the BGA area. First of all, one thing I did notice when you drove into this area, just above this building here, there was a blank white sign with nothing on it. Obviously, that's why it's blank. <laughs> that has now disappeared most of it seems to still be the same don't remember that sign up there sheep wall I think that's new just noticed that I had a quick whiz round just a minute ago and had a quick check to see what has changed I didn't notice that though so that's pretty cool I think it's just little touches like that I don't think any of this actual BGA area here has changed. I could be wrong. I mean, I can't remember everything. It seems to be pretty much the same to me. Not sure about some of these cars, but I'm pretty sure these trees and this grass area wasn't here because I remember running over here and showing you that you can pick up these logs so you could probably use them and sell them. So I think that's changed. 
apart from that I think most of it has stayed the same and what I'm going to do now is jump over to the animal dealer because on the original map tour because the chicken and sheep pens weren't working properly they weren't showing up on here so when you, you couldn't buy from here either but now if you come down to here and click on here we've got all five of them Southview farm is for your chickens as you can see when you click on there all the others are labeled up correctly like so so I'm just checking my new notes or notes that I've added to the old notes so it's a little bit of messy now <laughs> I think that's it so I think I've covered everything that is all your updates and your changes to Thornton Farm 19 by Steve's Mods, Oxygen David and Lancy Boy. So I hope you have all enjoyed this and found it useful and informative. If you have, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.